guys welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video we will see how to fix msi monitor adaptive sync issue so without wasting your time let's get started so the step one is to do you can simple check monitor settings that the adaptive sync is turns on or not so to open monitor settings you can simple press the m button to open menu and then use this navigation keys to move forward and backward and then press this enter key to access the settings okay so in professional tab you will find a adaptive sync so then press enter and then move forward key to move to the adaptive sync and here again press enter key to turn the adaptive sync on okay so right now up now the adaptive sync is turns on okay so the next step is to update the graphics driver so outdated graphics driver can cause compatibility issue with adaptive sync okay so you can simple update the graphics card graphics drivers so if you find any issue in update the graphics drivers so you can simple watch our youtube video on our channel how to update graphics drivers on msi monitor okay then after you can simple disable auto scan okay so if your monitor keeps switching inputs are not recognize adaptive sync properly so you can simple disable auto scan it can might help so to disable you can simple go to monitor sorry menu and then use this navigation keys to move forward to input source and then press enter to access the settings and here again press down key to turn the auto scan off okay after that you can also test different refresh rate sometimes the refresh rate settings can cause issue with adaptive sync okay so if you are using a windows then you can go to display settings and here you can adjust the refresh rate of your monitor i am using right now mac so in mac there is a no option to change the refresh rate okay so the next step is to you can simple check for cable connections so ensure your display port or hdmi cables or a type c securely connected so you can simple try using a different cable if available okay you can simple turn off the monitor and unplug it from a minute and then plug it back and turn it on to do a power cycle the monitor power cycle is very important thing okay so you can simple do a power cycle at every week okay in power cycle you can simple do a hard restart of your monitor so the next troubleshooting common issue is test with different device if possible connect your monitor to a different computer or laptop to see if it issue persist okay so and that's it so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorial goodbye